हेलो गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाकटेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अ बिट अबाउट द फ्रीक्वेंसी डीमोडुलेशन विद इन द मेटलैंड बट फर्स्ट गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी डीमोडुलेशन वी विल टेक आवर मैसेज सिग्नल और आवर इंफॉर्मेशन और डेटा सिग्नल एंड फर्स्ट वी विल मॉडुलेट इट एंड देन वी विल डीमोडुलेट इट so first from the line number 2 to our line number 10 it is the modulation part and then after from 11 to 16 is the demodulation part so here we know that first we must have a variable in which we can store our sampling frequency so sampling frequency here is 1000 Uh, what what it means? It simply means that our message or data signal is read by one thousand times within a second. Like one thousand times within a second, our data signal is read. Then we will come towards our our F carrier. That is. carrier frequency so we have considered it as 200 hertz okay now we will take our time variable and it starts from 0 and it just ends at point 2 and we will take it transpose because time is always the inversion of the frequency so that is why we just take it reciprocal so also we have an increase of 1 over f underscore sample so it will increase with this fraction then we will create our original signal uh, which is actually consist of two sine waves that is sine plus 2 multiplied by sine a with some bit difference of phase phases like here actually all inside this bracket is the theta this is the theta and this also is the theta so so you just have to consider it as theta like a, like a sin of theta plus 2 sin of theta so then we will plot our original signal uh this r means with the red coloration and pause of 3 means a delay of 3 seconds so first we will see our this thing this our message signal the red one okay so okay we 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 have our message signal here okay now we will go and define our frequency deviation and we we have taken the value of 20 uh, then we have a built in function of fm modulation or fm mod and you you don't need to do anything uh, this fm mod function will uh do the modulation for us that is the frequency modulation so you just need to put original signal here then carrier frequency then sampling frequency and then frequency deviation parameters so when these four parameters are uh, given to the fm mod function it will give us the modulated signal and then all the processing will be done and then it will be stored inside this mod underscore sig Then plot time comma mod underscore sig m minus or m dash so it will plot uh, time comma mod sig will just plot our modulated signal so uh, what it will be like so here this is our sam uh, data signal and this is our modulated signal this one okay so so in magenta it is the modulated signal and in Uh, red it is the information or data signal so okay now after the modulation is done we will go for the fm demodulation function so here uh, uh, again you need to put frequency deviation as a parameter then sampling frequency then carrier frequency and then a modulated signal uh, in first we need to put the in modulation section we need to put the original signal 
and in demodulation signal we need to put the modulated signal because modulation demodulation needs to be done on the modulated signal then after the demodulation is done and uh, all the data is stored that is uh, all the data that comes from right hand side will be stored inside the left hand side variable that is demod underscore sig then plotting is done plot of time comma original signal and cyan minus minus or dash dash what, what it means that the signal will be plotted that is x comma y so on x it is time and on y it is original signal then they must be in cyan or dash dash cyan color time comma demodulate demod signal uh, this is for the plotting of time versus demodulated signal and it is with b minus minus so means that uh, both the signals are on the same graph that is the original signal and demodulated signal and you will just see that uh, they both are very alike then x label is time y label is amplitude and then legend original and demodulated signal so, so you, you, you have to focus on this line that is the plot plot one. So we will write and here it is our okay now this is modulated and this is demodulated and original. Now you can see that the one which is having cyan color cyan color is the original signal and the one which is having dark blue dotted line is the demodulated signal. So here you can see that both are very very equal to each other except at some places so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel